They recommended closing our offices, protecting ourselves as much as possible. A sign of the times in 2022? And then the virtual, doing meetings by phone, doing um, any other kind of business by phone. Across the valley and the country, companies choose to go virtual as cases surge. Manager Mary Christie says for the Silver City mobile home community, corporate out of Tennessee urging offices nationwide to cease business in person, all to protect staff and the seniors. Anything they could do to just keep themselves protected was important to me and also myself. Going virtual is one way businesses can stay open in these turbulent times. According to Capital Economics, 3% of all American workers, at least 5 million people, were sick last week. The numbers are expected to get worse. So we had about nine people in our office go out um, sick out of a total of 12 people. Being able to go to a virtual lets the business keep operating. Now we might be operating at 50% but we're still operating at 50%, not at 20%. Owner Patricia Farley of Southwest Specialties, which oversees pavers and concrete projects, says going virtual helped staff recover and keep others healthy. Customers didn't mind, they're in the same boat. Patricia says it's better for everyone to quarantine at once, especially as school is on pause. So my advice is go virtual and get it over with. We should have a plan as employers for this so that we're not stressed. They just stay home, get well, they get back to work quicker. Jacqueline Schultz, Fox 5 News, local Las Vegas.